the madman. This week's brawl, blood magic. The first brawl that I believe the first brawl that has a standard restriction. So spells cost health instead of mana. You know, I actually haven't played Druid in a very long time on purpose in standard because it's kind of the overplayed deck right now. But hey, it's Brawl. It's my chance to get into it. I feel like playing some op -ness for once. So since I haven't played Druid in standard for quite a long time, uh, this Brawl lets me finally unleash the ultimate infestation. A card that I haven't shown because you guys have seen plenty of ultimate infestation be played out there. Uh, this deck... Plays everything in one turn and then kills your opponent. Uh, let's go to it. So, uh, I've got Ultimate Infestation in our hand. It's a pretty good card. I mean, that seems good. I'm not entirely sure what to mulligan for yet. Oh, sick. We actually have a... Uh... Illusionist to start, but I don't believe that's necessary either. So I can innervate out the Illusionist, but we really don't need to worry about that quite yet, I think. So I'm at three, I'm at six mana. Wait, do I win? No way I win, right? That was a pretty good first turn. Did I have lethal? That's 8, that's uh, 13. It's pretty good. <laughs> Power Creeper. Wow. So from that last game, I'm looking for pretty much ultimate infestation, I think. or card draw that draws into ultimate infestation. So I can uh, innervate out the illusionist and then get a bunch of my spells off. Seems okay, but even better to use the innervate to get out like something better. Well, we'll take a little bit of ta uh, pain, I guess. Oh, sick. All right, well, let's go for it then. Alright, gain two mana. Let's go ahead and cast a little bit of that. Hmm, a little bit more mana, sure. Yeah, I guess I should have drawn with Nourish instead. If I had Gavzian Auctioneer in my hand, it would have been right to take the mana. Better, better uh, deck than Druid. It's like three Druids in a row, and I'm playing Druid. Feels like constructed, man. Okay, so we can nourish for mana, which lets me play a Violet Illusionist if I want to. I 
think it's more important to just keep drawing that. So I think next turn I play Moonglade Portal, and then I uh, go back up after playing Illusionist. Okay. It's possible this deck is the uh, draw ultimate and I mean this brawl is draw ultimate infestation in your opening hand, or double innervate into action here, or lose the game, something like that. Did I lose? Hmm. We'll see. We're Yu-Gi-Oh now, boys. Wow. <laughs> this brawl is awesome. <laughs> Not even Druid! <laughs> So I'm quite certain that whenever you actually get to cast Auctioneer, you just win. Now the trick is drawing enough Nourishes and Innervates to get the Auctioneer up. And that'll be it. So all I need is... One Nourish and or one Innervate, pretty much. Some combination of that. Set up to win next turn, I guess. Give the opponent a chance to win here. There's some ideas to add in uh, Bite Claw and Nash, but I think you don't have enough card draw, even if you start off with Ultimate Infestation, without the Auctioneer. I think the key is to get to the Auctioneer. You're too slow. I need to get a Nourish or an uh, Innervate and then get the Illusionist and then I can go infinite. There we go. Too slow. Well, me. Wait, did I? Did I attack with my hero? Could I attack with my hero? No. Oh, oops. This deck has a learning curve, okay? It has a learning curve. good enough to keep in the hand. Probably is, given that the goal is to just draw into uh, the stuff. Even though it's uh, incredibly costly. Just to max it's like twice as likely to draw into ultimate infestation would be the logic, I think. Dang. Um, hmm. Drawn to ultimate infestation. Ah, 
We kind of fizzled here. So we need either Innervate or Nourish, and then I win. Uh, not quite. Huh, we might actually have a game here? Or maybe I lost. Boy, that's painful. Okay, so turn one, Nourish for Mana, Nourish for Mana, Coin Auctioneer, and then go off from there, right? I'll be down to 20, and then 17, but I'll go back up to 25. Alright. Can you win? Because otherwise, I'll probably win. Ooh. I mean, I'm gonna definitely lose next turn, so you might as well go all in. Here we go. For uh, eight twelve. Yeah, that was fun. So the gadgets in the auctioneer isn't actually good enough by itself. You need to draw the enabler. It's very possible that Jade Blossom is too slow, also. So what happens when you get, like, a hand where... Well, I guess I have Nourish to draw cards. There are hands that are, aren't as nutty. And then I guess those hands you just have to... Oh, what the... I should coin there. I'm not entirely sure if I can kill him before killing myself, so I'm not I'm not certain on whether to use this for attack or for defend. Okay, I think this is the final uh, one before I get tired of it. Uh, I guess the last comment would be uh, Jade Blossom is too slow and should probably be replaced with Nash.
Well, the growth should probably be cut also, it's just too slow now. This might actually be one of those games which goes long somehow. Both didn't draw very useful things, it seems. Although his deck is uh, much more watered down than mine is, it seems. the ramp is necessary because... No, I guess it wasn't necessary, since I already have an array coin if I draw a gadget sand. Alright, well, that's an amazing brawl. 